Hey everyone, my name is Marcus and this is my student thesis video. I'm going to talk about my thesis briefly here and hopefully this can serve as an example for people who want to make their own thesis video or even a video about a project they're doing at home. So my thesis is on passive radar algorithms. And so if you're familiar with active radar, it's basically where you shoot out an electromagnetic pulse, it bounces off some object if it's there, and then you um, receive that reflected signal and then you do some maths on it and then you can figure out, say, how far away it is and a relative velocity. So the difference with passive radar is I'm not transmitting anything. So the idea here is to use commercial signals such as digital TV and television to then bounce off targets and then come to receiving antennas and perform pretty much the same job as radar. So you'd be a lot more covert, it would be a lot cheaper, you wouldn't have to lug around um, heavy equipment and have power requirements and everything. So here's the basic concept. So if we have some big transmitter here, say it's on Mount Kutha, it's a big um, digital radio transmitter, it's shooting out um, lots of energy and then so that's coming to my receiving antenna so I'm just receiving the direct path signal and then say there's an aeroplane here, a target so then it goes up there and then a little bit of it bounces back towards my antenna so you can see I'm receiving a lot of this and a little bit of this so then the idea is to do some maths on that and you get a Doppler range map and so then that allows you to kind of figure out where it might be you get a Doppler shift and you get a range from it but so you can see here um, if we've got a point on an ellipse, say these are the two foci of an ellipse, this target could lie anywhere on this ellipse. So then basically, if you look here, I've got another receiver, and sure, it's receiving this direct path signal, but it's also getting a, re a reflection from here, and it forms its own ellipse, with these two being the foci, and so you, you can see there are some intercepts here. So then that, um, that lowers down um, the possibilities of where it might be. So if we can get another antenna, then we can triangulate where um, an exact position of this target here. And so I've just basically been working on um, improving the algorithms, making them faster, and then also cleaning up the result, which you'll see in a second. So an average day of thesis for me involves just coming up on the roof, having my antennas set up, um, having my software-defined radios good to go, and then I just record as an aircraft comes by. And so hopefully we'll see one come by soon. And here we've got a helicopter now just coming over. So helicopters are always nice to capture. And so back in the lab, here are some results. We've got a range Doppler map on the left, which shows the Doppler shift and delay. So on the left we've got Doppler shift, and then on, on the horizontal axis we've got delay. And so here's an aeroplane that I detected earlier, not the helicopter we saw before. And you can see the direct path signal is all this noise that's kind of hard to make out the target. But when we look over on the right, we see that I've cleaned it up through some processing, and you can see that the target's much easier to see. Um, and so then I've still got more improvements to do on that, but that's basically where I'm at at the moment.